and it wasn't on. See, that would have been a mess. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today because I have a different video today and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, on my Instagram stories a few days back, I showed how I was remixing my eyeshadow palette. You know, been going through my collection lately and just looking at these beautiful palettes that I have and I just have this new philosophy now. Like if I see an eyeshadow in a palette that I don't like, that I've never used and I'm never gonna use and it makes me mad just looking at it, it has to go. They have to go. So I have decided to revitalize my old palettes and just make the old new. And within doing that, I am condensing palettes, taking out shades that I, I don't use from other palettes that I like, putting them in palettes, mixing my singles and just really utilizing my collection and I'm really, really happy about it. So if you wanna see exactly what I mean and what I'm talking about, keep on watching this video. And if makeup is your therapy, if it's your escape, if it makes you happy, you just love it and you especially love eyeshadow, definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Given the nature of this video, I don't have any makeup on at all because I'm gonna be cutting to some footage of how I have depotted my shadows and repressed them basically. I'm really excited about it because I have some palettes that I'm just not using. Some of them are very new, very recent releases. And I'm like, these, these shades are never gonna get used. I'm not gonna keep saying I'm really excited but I think you can see that I am. Now I do have some new makeup coming that I'm also excited about. Um, yeah. It, it, it only been one player, but. You need it to be two players? Yes, because me, I, I want to fight with me. I want to fight with Marky because someone else was Yoshi. The computer was Yoshi because you were playing against a computer. So no, I'll, yeah, yeah that's, what's ha that's what happened. But, I'll fix it. Just give me one second. Right All right, y'all. Be right back. Okay, I had to um, help them with the Nintendo Switch. All right, so let me just tell you how this all started. This all started after I did that Melt Brunette video where I talked about the shade supposedly being a blend out shade. Now that was not my, my own doing. I heard that somewhere. I don't believe in that. Not three blend out shades, not even two. So let me just show you what I did with my melt palette. And then I'm gonna show you, not how I did the melt palette, cause I didn't film that, but how I revamped some other palettes. So here's my new melt palette, y'all. Wait till y'all see it. Now tell me this is not a better color story. I mean, so these shades are the same, but what I did was I took a matte from, believe it or not, Give Me Glow, look at that. And then I took a Give Me Glow Shimmer. This is the shade Storm. I just thought that these two shades would be amazing with this color story. And the cool thing about the Melt Palettes is that they're magnetic. So I have this really strong magnet that just lifts them up out. And um, the magnets were just something, my dad brings like stuff like that over here and just puts them up in random places. And I'm like, oh, look at this magnet. And it just lifted the shades right on out. I just repressed the shadows in here and I'll show you how I did it with some other palettes. And um, I think I'm gonna do this from time to time with my palettes. There's certain things I don't like. The blend out shades are one, the pressed glitters are another. I'm never gonna use them. And then I just looked in my single shadows collection and I have tons of shadows that I'm not using. My Luxy Beauties are not being used. My Copacetics are not being used. Truth be told, as much as I love Sydney Grace, a lot of my Sydney Grace singles are not being used. So I'm like, why don't I just put them in my palettes if that's what I'm grabbing for, so that these beautiful shadows are utilized and I can give some spice and new life to the palettes that I have. So I have literally a whole rack of palettes on the floor that I've, I've done already. I'm not gonna show them all in this video because it would be too long, but I think I'm gonna just create some videos from time to time. I've got Juvia's Place, I've got KKW Beauty. I have that You Beauty palette by Glaminatrix. I hate to tell you all this. Did I even have that in my palette roundup? I think I did, but I just wasn't feeling it. I think I took most of the shades out of there except like three. Yeah, 
I don't know. And uh, my melt palettes, you know I love me some melt, but there are certain shimmers that they just they just didn't make the cut. And I just, I just revamped them. My video today is gonna focus mostly on my Huda Beauty palettes. So what I'm gonna do right now is cut to the footage of me scraping out shades that I don't want with a couple of palettes, not all of them. You're gonna see me do the Desert Dusk palette and you're gonna see me do Mercury Retrograde. And then I'll come back at the end and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a good amount of palettes that I have remixed and you know amped up so that I can really put them back in the rotation and be proud. And what I really like about what I'm doing is, first of all, I wasn't gonna use those shades anyway. So if someone wants to see a tutorial with let's say the new nude palette, my tutorial most likely wouldn't have included those pressed glitters anyway. So if I do a tutorial, I'm just gonna skip over the new shades that are in there. And I just love that I'm creating a custom collection for me that, that I'm really gonna enjoy. And I'm throwing away things I don't like. So let's get to this footage. And then at the end, I'm gonna come and show y'all the final result. And I'm really, really excited and I hope you enjoy it. All right, you guys. So I have never filmed anything like this before. So I am you know, practicing with the lighting and everything like that. Today, I am gonna be remixing my Huda Beauty palettes. Now the goal is not to change the whole you know, layout of the palette or anything like that. The goal is more so to, well, looky here, Arielle just came home and now it's about to be loud. Might have to do a voiceover. But the goal is just to take out shades I'm not using as well as pressed glitters. So what you're gonna need just to make sure your area is clean and you know, you're not making a mess. I have a cookie sheet, I have foil, I have a bag, I have, uh, some butter knife and I have a spoon. Hello, All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, hey Ari, is I'm gonna scrape out the shades that I don't want. So we're looking at Desert Dusk, we're looking at Mercury Retrograde, as well as the New Nudes palette. These are, I have a big magnet, but the magnet's not pulling them out, so I don't know, they're in there pretty good, so I'm not, I'm gonna just, uh, scrape the shades out within the palette, and then I'm gonna cover the palette with some plastic wrap when I put the new shades in. All right, so let's get, ooh, let's get started. Okay, so for this palette, the new nudes palette, I'm gonna be taking out these two glitters here. Um, this shade here, because no one's using that. And then I'm gonna take out this concealer here. Now this palette is probably going on two years old. So, okay, ghost. So I'm gonna start with that. Oh, this is very satisfying, I'd like to say. And I'm just making sure that everything is going into the bag so there's not gonna be, you know, too much cleanup. I'm gonna clean these up a little bit later, but I wanna get to the next two palettes. Okay, Mercury Retrograde, I'm only taking out this shade right here. And last we have Desert Dusk. So I'm taking out two shades. I'm taking out this shade here and then this glitter here. Okay, now that the shades are basically out, I am going to just clean up the palettes and then I'm gonna come back. I have to decide uh, what I wanna put in the place of what I took out. So I'm gonna decide all that off camera and then I will be back to show you how we press in the new shadows. Oh, I forgot. 
here's naughty nudes uh this is also going immediately immediately Now, I'll be back for real. Okay, the first palette I'm gonna start with is actually retrograde. Now, the other thing I noticed at this, this shade, cause this palette is old, is starting to crumble. So I'm gonna actually take this out and I am going to mix it with this shade from the Smoky palette, because I don't use the Smoky palette. They are, I don't know if y'all can see that. They're very similar in shade, not exact, but we're gonna mix them together. So, is that satisfying to y'all? Because it is to me. All right. I'm gonna take out this shade here. And like, these are just too old for me to sell or, you know what I mean? So I might as well be able to get some use out of them. That's how I feel. Then no use. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take my knife here and I'm just gonna chop it up. I'm taking my foil and I'm just gonna cover up as much of the palette as I can. I'm just gonna take the <laughs> spoon and the knife and just Put the shadow in. I'm just gonna pat it with the spoon. And then I'm gonna get a napkin or paper towel and I'm just gonna press down. Now remember the shimmers, I, I don't really fool with mattes too much. The shimmers have a bonding agent in them already. So I don't spray anything. All right, here's what we have so far. We can go ahead and oh, there's our new shade. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. It looks really good. All right, see you in a bit. All right, love you. Love you too. Okay, you guys, so. You see how pale I am? This is just so much. But I really hope that you enjoyed seeing me kind of uh, revamp these palettes. And now I want to show you the final result of everything. First, I'm going to show you the melt palettes. So I showed you Brunette. Now, one of my all-time favorite palettes of all time of any brand is the Rust palette. But there was a shade in the Rust palette that I just couldn't get with, and it was the first shade that was in there called Classic. But what I did was I took a shimmer from Give Me Glow and I put it in there instead. So here is the revamped palette, and here is the new shimmer. Let me show you what it looks like. So instead of me having that light shade that I'll never use, that you could use for a brow bone highlight, I now have this shade that I would use for a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. So that's how I revamp rust. I'm on a roll and y'all know, I love me some melt, but if certain shades aren't working, they're not working, you know? 420 has a shimmer in it that wasn't great and it was the shade Shatter. So I took a very similar color shimmer. I didn't change the, the tone. I just found a, a, a shimmer that was very close. So here is the shade Shatter. I can't even remember what I put in here, but it is the same color. It's just a better shimmer. I don't know if, mm, this isn't Give Me Glow. I don't know what this is, to be honest, anymore. I, don't, I can't remember. It doesn't matter, because it looks the same as Shatter. It's just, it's just better. It's just more potent. Now I also messed with Mary Jane. Now Mary Jane had two shimmers on the outer edges that weren't great. Everything else in the palette was bomb. But the shades Mary Jane and Callie, here they come, here they come, here they come. Mom. Mary Jane and Callie Mom. were shades that just weren't working well for me. It, it, I had to be turned off by accident. You did? So I can't turn it back on. I can, can I swatch this real fast? Give me a sec, I just have to show this. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? It's just too much for me. So real quick, these are two more Gimme Glow shades I have. 
that show up better than the two shades that were in the original Mary Jane. They're the same color as the shades that were there. In fact, I might have, I will, give me a second. In fact, I might have mixed the original shades with the new one. I really need y'all to be able to operate the Nintendo Switch by yourselves. That's just, that's a lot for no reason. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I feel like I look a mess, but I really didn't have time to do the makeup today because I was outside playing catch. Then I made dinner, I had tortellini from one of those um, home chef meals. And then I made spaghetti, and, well, spaghetti meat in case they didn't like the tortellini and all this kind of stuff. So I just had to hurry up. All right, let's get to, we're just gonna do the Huda Beauty palettes that I remixed today. Let's start with retrograde. I think that's what I showed first. Now I did this the other day, so hopefully the shades are still in there good. <laughs> and I probably ended up doing, no, not with retrograde, I didn't. What did I do for retro? See, it looks so good, I don't even remember what I did. Okay, so I remixed the shade Galaxy. So here's Galaxy right here, and this is actually a combination of the original Galaxy shade and a shade from the Huda Beauty Mini Smoky palette. So again, it's beautiful, swatches perfectly, it's in there. And now this palette is as good as new. This is the only shade that I really was concerned with in this palette. So gotta put this in the rotation. Also, did y'all see those new um, Huda Beauty mini quads that are coming out? It's been a while since I've been really interested in anything from this brand but those look good. I see like two, possibly three that I want, which means four. Now, you know, they may be the same shades revamped, but anyway. All right, Desert Dusk. I ended up doing a lot more in this palette than I filmed. So I ended up redoing Desert Sand because that was really light. I ended up redoing Retrograde. Retrograde was a little lighter than this, but it was dry. Celestial was dry. I redid that. Did I? Nefertiti. I redid that. Did I redo Twilight? Psh, I probably, yeah, I redid Twilight. I took one of the um, U Beauty shades and put that in there. And then Cosmo was the pressed glitter. So let me show you the new palette. Here we go. I did say I was gonna clean these up, but I just did not have a chance to you guys and I'm sorry. But look at this y'all. Look how beautiful that is. I just really love this so much more. And I just love that it's freshened up with some new shades and some new pizzazz. This was a good palette though, I will say that. She makes some good palettes. All right, now I'm gonna show you all Naughty Nudes and the New Nudes. I definitely did the shade Bare. That had to go, it was just too light. The concealer shade, I took that out and took the silver from the Smoky palette and put that in there. Can't remember what I put in bare. It doesn't even matter really. I did Excite and Infatuated because there were two pressed glitters here. I took a shade from the Smoky palette here. I can't remember what I put here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I just know I like this so much more. I like a shimmery inner corner and a shimmery brow bone highlight. So I rarely ever use a matte to do the brow bone highlights. So those shades can, they really can go. They can, they can go. So I love this and I love that I'm gonna continue to have this in my collection versus decluttering it. And the last palette that I worked on was the Naughty Nudes palette. And I only took out the Petri Dish shade. I took out the shade Slippery and I put in a brown shade that was in the Huda Smoky palette. So when I can, like I'm going to try to keep the brands, you know, consistent, but like I don't have to. And like, that's totally fine. Um, and then I'm gonna show you really quick some of the palettes that I am getting the shades from. So I, I just thought that went well with, you know, this palette and um, I'm happy with it. So let me show you a couple of the palettes that I'm using to get my shades from. I am using singles, but I'm really only using singles if I can use the whole single. Like I'm not trying to waste a single and have to throw half of it away. So that's why I was happy with the Huda palettes that I could take, you know, Huda shades and put them in there because they're the same size and I'm not gonna waste anything. So now I know some of this, one of these palettes is gonna break some hearts. So I'll save that for the end. The first palette that I'm using is this BH Cosmetics BFF palette, never filmed it. I played with it maybe once. So, so far you can see I've taken some shades out of here 
and put them in other palettes, um, not necessarily the Huda palettes, but other palettes. I'm working on it again. I am going to sprinkle these videos in. I just, it would just make the video way too long if I showed you everything that I've done. Cause the way I am, like I kind of have like an obsessive personality. And if I get a kick on a roll with something, I just, I just keep going. So I got a whole stack down here but I am gonna to continue to use this palette. And these mats are good. So if I can dismantle this and save the mats, I will do that. And just put them in, you know, my little singles palettes and just throw this packaging away or recycle it, not throw it away. So the BFF palette is going because that way in some way it's getting utilized versus taking up space and sitting in my drawer. Another palette I am dismantling is this Glam Light Viva Taco palette. I think I've decided I don't like the food packaging. I know y'all, not that I talk about Glam Light a lot, but I do talk about Glam Light as a great brand and they are. I just don't reach for this. I've used this one time and I can tell you the time I used it. It was for my Halloween look where I did the uh, Cruella DeVille. Oh, I thought I had something on me. So this can be recycled. I'm just using this to protect the shadows. So you can see I've taken some shadows out of here. I did use a matte for something, but these shimmers are, they're great. So I do not want to throw them away, but I do not reach for this palette. So revamping it, putting it with something else is gonna be a way for me to like, just utilize the soul of the palette. All right, this is the one that's gonna hurt y'all feelings. I don't even have to zoom in because I know y'all know what it is. What I will say, I have crushed up some of these <laughs> and I have taken out, I'll have to do a whole separate video on what I've done with the Natasha Denona palettes because I have them sitting up here. I have one, two, three, four palettes. Oh, I didn't mess with bronze because bronze is perfect. I'll have to include the Natasha Denona palettes maybe with the Juvia's place. I just don't want the video to be too long. But there's just some some shades in here. I'm I've used this palette one time and I prefer like Mary Jane to this just because I just like melt better. And as much as I love Natasha Denona mattes, which y'all know I really, really do. They're like my second. I'll take this out. This is a good shade. I'll have to put that somewhere else. But um I just can't. Yeah, even Metropolis. I felt like Metropolis had some repeats in it. So I didn't throw the glam shades away. I actually took out these like light blend out shades and all of her other palettes and took the glam shades and put them in. So see the spirit of glam is still alive. I'm just not never gonna reach for a glam palette. I also used the uh, the ones I got from BoxyCharm, the Peak Palette and the Jubilee Palette to kind of spice up, you know, some of the other bigger pan palettes that she has. I'll come back and do a video on the Natasha Denona ones, but I have done KKW Beauty, I've done ColourPop. My next project is I'm Reezy. I have already taken out the two pressed glitters and I already know one of the shades because I'm trying to- Yeah, my flip flops. Why do you need your flip flops? You wanna show them your flip flops? Cause these flip flops are like, let me tell you something about these flip flops. You're gonna have to take them off cause they're not gonna be able to see them. These flip flops are like. What? Wait, I'll be back. Wait, you'll be, no, don't be right back. Don't be right back. I'll come in there cause I'm, I'm, I'm done. No, 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 don't, don't come back. I love you, I'm coming out. All right. Why are you walking like that? Okay, because she can't close the door, it's okay, because I'm almost done. So, you know, the goal for me is not to change the palette up completely from the artistic um, idea, but I just know if it's something I'm not using, I'm, I'm really, really about going back into my collection and just, just getting it together, y'all, because the reality is, is I'm, I am gonna continue to buy new makeup and I have new makeup sitting here. I got a, the Wilderness Palette by Beauty Bay. I bought Norvina 4 just because I can get it for 20% off. I know it's freaking bats. I have the melt 27 palette, which I'm super excited about. I've got the sugar drizzle pizza kitty palette. I think that's it. So yeah, but in the meantime, I'm going to be working with my old stuff. So yes, y'all that's it. I really hope you all found this enjoyable. If you are interested in depotting your shadows, don't let it give you anxiety. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared. Like, 
it's just eyeshadow you know start with an old palette start with shades like you know many of us have palettes that we just never use but there are good parts in of every palette you know what i mean and i think it's cool to save the good parts and kind of like revive it and put it in something that's current, you know? And I love that because I feel like it's keeping my collection alive and not to mention, I mean, you know, alive, you know what I'm saying? And it's making me have a custom collection that's different. So I don't know, that's important to me for some reason because I just want to be proud of what I have because I have so much and I've spent so much money. And when I looked in my collection, like, and really did that video about the regrets, I was just like, this is a damn shame. Because the reality is, is I love eyeshadow and I'm good with my budget now. So I do have the budget to buy the new things that I've bought, but I still don't want to neglect the old. And this is a way for me to just do that. And it's fun. It sounds like a little science project. You know, you're just cutting it up. I would say if you're interested or you have any questions, let me know. I want to tell you another person who is really, really, really amazing with depotting shadows, comparing them, and, and, and all of that is Kendra Morgan. And I will link her channel in the cards as well as in the description box because when I have had questions in the past about that, she has always been able to help me. She's way more technical than me. I'm just pressing it in. She is able to do like the mats too, and I'm not too great with that. So definitely check her out. Like if that's something that you're interested in. All right, you guys, I know that this was a different type of video, but I really do hope that you enjoyed it. A lot of people were uh, sending me messages on my stories. Like, did you film this? How did you do it? I, I would love to see it. So yeah, this is the reason mix as Diddy would say and I hope that you will be down for seeing more of that so I hope this was therapy for you because it was for me and until I see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and I will see y'all really soon hopefully with some makeup on bye <laughs>